Hello, it's me, Furry Face, and this is my face. Yeah, I'm back finally. The hell of a walk as always. Made uh, seven seven seventy five today, so I gave the cashier a quarter to make an even eight bucks to get that back. But anyway, uh, and I'm gonna score some weed with it, whatever I can, for eight lousy bucks. Tomorrow's gonna be a bit better. I met some uh, mailmen in front of the Watson. Used to be the post office, now they just uh, sort mail there. The trucks parked there and all that, but anyway. One of them says he's got like eight bags, two, eight green bags of, of, of cans at home. I almost said corn. What the fuck? Anyway, <laughs> eight bags. So they're telling me about how he's going to meet me tomorrow with him. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't believe a word people say anymore. Because people lie to me. People are bullshit, you know. You go there the next day to meet them and they don't show up or there's nothing, you know? Yeah. Anyway. So, okay, you know. And then as I'm uh, walking away, I'm about, not even half a block away. And he's yelling, 8 o'clock tomorrow. I was like, okay. I said, you know, we'll see, you know. Fuck. So I'm not going to go collecting cans all the way just to meet them with 8 bags of freaking cans. Uh, I can't carry 8 bags anyway. Not 8 green bags. Fuck, they're too big, you know. I can carry 4. That's strapping two on each shoulder with straps, you know. And I have to use my hands to hold the straps on my shoulders or they fall off. So, fuck. And that's enough to carry because I still got to walk another mile from where that is just to get to the grocery store to cash some in. It's like, fuck. It's, well, at least meeting them there at 8 isn't a bad time. Because the grocery store opens at 8 anyway. So, fuck. So by the time I get there, it'll be another half hour or so, because I'm going to take a couple of breaks on the way from there anyway. Fuck. And I'll break just before I get there. I'm right around the corner, but they won't know that. <sighs> well, I don't live around the corner. I live about fucking two miles down the goddamn street. It's like, fuck. But I'm not going to bother checking the buildings, you know, on the way there. It's like, forget it. If I'm expecting that, I'm expecting that, so... I don't want to carry a bunch of cats with me and then meet the guy for eight more bags of cats. That's crazy. So, uh, oh, four foot collecting because it's not much anyway. Uh, although, you know, I collected, what, three days in a row? That's how I got the seven seventy five. Otherwise, it would have been like two or three bucks. Not even sometimes, like, per day. I don't find that much always. And I remember one winter, I did the walk three miles. Uh, what do I wind up with? 25 cents. It was fucking stupid. It happens sometimes, you know, sometimes it's just nothing, you know. Anyway, huh. Fed the seagulls today, I was happy about that. I like feeding my fine feathered friends, you know. I see one high on the light post because they keep sentries around, you know. Two or, th two or three of them will sit high on the light posts near the bus terminus and they just sit there and look around, you know. And I go, hey, seagull, you know. And I see his beak turn around and look at me, so I know he's watching, so his face is heading my direction. So I know he's going to see it when it so comes in the air. So I do that, you know. Sure enough, he leaves his post and comes flying down. And the other one on the other post behind him, he comes down too, because he, he saw him come down. So, you know, something's up, so he comes down too, you know. He was like several of them by the time I left. And I gave him, I don't know, five slices of bread all ripped up and thrown out. So they got their bellies full. I'm happy. I like feeding animals, you know. I'm not brought up like one of these assholes. Don't feed the animals, you know. They create a nuisance. It's all fuck off, you know. Uh, some people are just ignorant dummies. People that lock up their garbage cans because they don't want the raccoons making a mess. Oh, well, excuse me, you know. Fuck. If I see that when I'm prowling around, I'll fucking take off their locks if I can or you know, make it easily accessible for the raccoon anyway. Fuck them, you know. What, they're too afraid to clean up a little bit of mess? It's like, they can't just go to bed knowing that they fed an animal that night or something. It's like, fuck, you know, it's assholes, you know. Ugh. Anyway. But I like animals. They're cute and furry and they're adorable. And they have families too, you know. They got young ones to look after and that kind of shit. And let's face it, God doesn't help everyone, okay? So I don't think that God feeds the fowl of the air every day or something. Mm, not necessarily, you know. And there's starving children all over the world too. Where's God then? 
Yeah, I have my questions for God. Don't worry, I give God shit sometimes too, and I know very well he is, because he let me know. So I'm what you call a real witness, not a Jehovah witness. I don't think his name is Jehovah in the first place. So I say I belong to the church of no name, because that's what I, he doesn't have a name, you know? Why would he say I am whom I am if he had a freaking name? Come on, you know? But these people, they think they know so much. They come to my place one time to badger me about my story about hearing the voice of God, which I did. He spoke, you know? And they denied it, and they threw it into the ground like it was rubbish, like I made it up. And I thought, I was more disturbed that they didn't understand what I was saying. I thought I'd be lying about such a thing. What's wrong with these people, I thought. They're supposed to be witnesses. They're not acting like that. They're not, okay? Ah, I was very annoyed by that, too. Shit. Anyway, where was I? <laughs> yeah, I was happy to feed the seagulls. Ugh. What gets me sometimes, too, is how clean animals are. I mean, they live in the bush and trees and all kinds of shit, and they're spotless, you know? You look at their underbelly, and it's nice and white. If I wore white clothes, you think I'd stay clean very long? Forget it, you know? I wouldn't. Anyway. <laughs> uh, that's it for today. I uh, hope I find that load of cans tomorrow. hope the guy shows up with them at 8, p at 8 a.m. Uh, near the uh, sorting mail place. Uh, that's the post office guys that work there, or the mail guys, mailmen. But anyway, and none of them hardly speak English. They're all French, of course. We wouldn't have these jobs if they were only English. Why do you think I'm unemployed? <laughs> because I'm in Quebec and I speak English. I hate the French fucking dictatorship fucking language. And I could go on, but we'll call it short for now. So for if it's out, <laughs> Toodaloo, kangaroo, uh, China, brown cow, see you later, alligator, and in a while, crocodile. Yes, I remember it. Yeah. I'm not quite senile just yet. In a few years, maybe. You know, you know how it is. You don't use it, you lose it. You know, yeah, I gotta be careful. Anyway, uh, yeah. Don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to my wonderful channel, of course. Yeah. Anyway. See you later. Yeah. And this is my face. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.